Hi, I'm Juliana Kenny here at Day 2 of IT Expo West 2010. I'm joined by Amir Zamora, Vice President of Marketing and Products at Rad Vision. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me here. So tell me a little bit about Rad Vision and what you do for them. So uh, Rad Vision uh, has actually two business units and uh, from there two layers, I would say, of uh, solutions that we provide to the market. One of them is end-to-end -end video conferencing solutions that we sell to enterprises from the infrastructure, management, all the way to endpoints, room system uh, products, and uh, software clients. And we also provide technologies for companies to build video communication devices. This is the business unit I'm working for. And uh, in this context, we mainly provide today three components for building uh, clients. One of them is enterprise products like uh, the product we have done together with Samsung, which is a personal video communication device, a computer monitor, and a video conferencing uh, product. Mm -hmm. um, we provide uh, frameworks for software clients to run on your desktop with high definition video, and we provide solutions for building personal uh, communication devices like tablets, mobile phones, to enable them with uh, voice over IP video uh, devices. Great. So how do you see the release of Apple's <coughs> FaceTime and tablets affecting your industry? Well, I, I came back uh, just a month ago from a show in uh, Europe, IFA, which is like a consumer electronics uh, mm -hmm. show that uh, we also have here in the U.S. And uh, I think that tablets is uh, a very big thing now. There's a big hype Sorry, around yes. tablet, tablets. And um, we see many, many companies trying actually to follow what Apple has done with the iPad. <coughs> and we also see companies who are manufacturing mobile phones trying to follow something like what Apple has done mm -hmm. uh, with regards to FaceTime. So we see tablets today coming out with front-facing cameras, uh, mobile phones coming out with front-facing cameras. And uh, we have today many, many customers who we are helping with uh, developing actually the SIP video application to run on the device, application that will be optimized for their device, that will utilize uh, the hardware uh, accelerators of the device in order to achieve high quality of video. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I think that uh, there will be a few companies that will be able to provide the solution that will really be uh, successful from quality perspective, mm -hmm. of course price perspective, and uh, user-friendly uh, and user experience that will uh, try to compete with, uh, with Apple. But I think mm -hmm. basically they have opened a new market with uh, the tablets and the FaceTime. Great. So as we all know, you know, video is becoming more consumer-based. How do you think that will affect the availability of video conferencing on the general internet? Yeah, that's, that's a great question because actually when we look at video today, Red Vision belief for many years was that video should move from the high-end room system, telepresence that costs thousands, ten, uh, hundreds and thousands of dollars, mm -hmm. uh, half a million dollars to just buy one uh, station, then you need another one so you can speak with someone else, right. uh, moving actually to personal usage, meaning moving to the desktop, mm -hmm. moving to the office of the person and moving to the personal device, to the mobile phone or a tablet. Right. And um, as a result of that, we will see, and we are already starting to see, video moving to the SMBs, small companies of just you know, two offices in two different locations that can very simply today have video communication between them and also the consumer. So we see this happening very strongly, but what we also see is that there are solutions today on the market that do not provide uh, adequate quality mm -hmm. of video because you're starting to run over the open internet. You have many, many uh, new things you need to consider. It's not a dedicated line of the enterprise. Right. And uh, we're investing today a lot of resources <coughs> in this uh, technology to actually enable video, high quality video to run over the open internet. Uh, we have already integrated into our video products, scalable video coding, uh, SVC, and uh, we have new technologies that uh, we have developed that are uh, enabling us actually to, to predict that the packet loss will occur and we actually to avoid the packet, packet loss before it really happens. Mm -hmm. And these are technologies that are a must if uh, someone wants to actually be able to provide a good quality service over the internet. Excellent. 
Well, that was very informative. We look forward to seeing what's coming from Rad Vision soon. Thank you very Once much. Once again, I am with Amir Zamora, Vice President of Marketing and Products at Rad Vision. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you very much.